Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel for another advent calendar video. I hope you have been enjoying this series as much as I have. This time around we are doing Vermont Christmas Company. They did send these over for me to review and I'm excited about these ones because I have really been enjoying the ones where you're building a puzzle as you go throughout the month versus the individual puzzles and they do this with three of their images. Now what is nice about their images is that two of them are really just like wintry so if you are watching this series and you're not really like a Christmas celebrator but you're wanting the concept of a advent calendar they do have two that are more geared towards just winter and then they do have a nativity scene as well that is definitely more Christmas but um, it is a brand to look at if you are just wanting an advent calendar but you're not necessarily wanting a Christmas one and what is also nice is that their images can also be done in just regular puzzle form. So if you miss the window to start the advent calendar series or you want to gift one, you can buy just the, the standalone puzzle without the advent version. I want to say that's around $20, maybe give or take, depending on pricing. I know that they are sold on Puzzle Warehouse. They're sold a lot of different places. You can find them on Amazon. I'll link what I can down below. But we are just going to go into this. I have two out of the three here. There's a third one that is really cute. I'll put it here on the screen so you can see. But the two here that I have, we have first Christmas cheer, which is this really fun outdoor winter scene. You have some Christmas tree decorating, you have some carolers, you have some really cute little buildings. And it is a 24 day advent. So there are 24 individual boxes inside that you will be building your puzzle throughout the month. So it ends up being about 40 or so pieces each day. So not a huge time commitment. So if you're just wanting to do a little bit of puzzling each day, it's definitely a nice way to build a puzzle throughout the month. I love that concept because December is wild and busy. And I think something like this is just really, really fun to do in the evening. And then the second one that they sent over was this one called Stained Glass Nativity. This I think is a cool concept because if you are someone who does a nativity set or scene in your household, it's another variation of it where you can just like do the puzzle as the, the advent season goes on. I like this because our actual nativity set is quite fragile and there's been pieces that have been breaking throughout the years. So we keep it like very safe and secure and I'm always nervous to take it out. So I'm excited to have like another alternative in case those pieces are just like not in their best form this year, especially with the move. I haven't checked on them. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of our little nativity scene items that are like, they're like ceramic have broken. So anyways, I'm excited to do this one as well, but I'm really going to be focused on Christmas cheer this time around just because I really want to do stained glass during Advent season. So check out my Instagram if you want to see me like day by day during Advent season to know all the different Advent calendars that I'm doing each day. But we're just going to dive right into this. I'll point you down, show you it up and close. I'll definitely do a couple boxes on camera and then I'll do the whole entire thing so you guys can see the full image. I'm excited about this. I hope you enjoy it and let's just get started. Alrighty, so here is inside the box. We do have a full-size poster, which is a nice decent size, not too big, not too small. Um, so this is definitely handy to use throughout the season. And then we have our boxes here, nice and simple, um, very clean looking. We're just going to take out box number one and check out the pieces and how it is put together. So here is box number one. Let's just open it up and take a peek. It did say that the puzzle pieces on the back are numbered, so that way you can put them back in their corresponding box by for the end of the year, which I always appreciate because you can either do it again next year or gift it forward, and I like that. So they do have paper backing for that purpose. Um, it does look like they have a variety of piece shapes, which is nice. They're not just like all twos, which I have discovered a lot this time around. Um, but the pieces look like traditional Vermont Christmas Company puzzle pieces. Definitely have a shine to them. But the pieces all around just feel nice and sturdy. Coloring looks good. Let me give you a couple so you can see. Um, this section of the puzzle is definitely a lot of their trees with Christmas lights. So it might be a little bit tricky for this image, but let's just do this and see how it works out. All 
Alrighty, so here is day one, which I loved. Um, really great quality, no false fits. The puzzle pieces just feel really nice. As you can see, this is a really good secure fit. This little section of pieces took me maybe five minutes, so not a huge time commitment in case you are just wanting a little bit of puzzling each day. Really enjoyed this. Um, also really smooth. Like, you know, sometimes when you do puzzles and they just like don't lay flat, this one just feels really nice and secure. So I'll do a couple more on camera, but then I'll do the rest of the puzzle to see what it looks like completed. Alright, so here is the final image. As you can see, there's a little bit of shine there. Um, nothing too, too glossy. It doesn't have like a texture on it or anything. Like, you know, sometimes glossier puzzles can have like a film. Don't notice that whatsoever in general. When you're moving your hands across the puzzle, it just feels really nice. Like it's just a nice smooth puzzle. Really have nothing negative to say. I really enjoyed this one had zero false fits, but I think it's just a nice little treat at the end of your work day. I always say that because that's usually when I do my puzzling is late in the evening. Um, but if you're a morning puzzler, it might just be a nice little kick to your day as well. Um, I'm excited to do the other one that I have from them because I really did enjoy this one. Um, it just turns out absolutely lovely. And I do appreciate that the, the puzzle pieces are numbered on the back so I can put them back in their boxes to either do again next year or gift forward to maybe a family member. Um, my family are, is really into puzzles, so I can see me actually sending this one off to like maybe one of my sisters or my mom for them to do in a, a, the next year. So I like that it's just more than just like a one and done. Let me know your thoughts down below. Is this something that you are into? I really enjoyed it. I hope you found this video helpful. I've done several Vermont Christmas Company puzzles in the past and have really enjoyed them. So I'm excited that they were able to send these over to me. I will also mention in case you want more of like a DIY project or maybe these images just didn't resonate with you, they are a good brand to just look at for other Christmas or winter images because they have so many different options available. Last year I did Winterfest. I also have a Christmas tree farm. So they have a lot of other versions that maybe are a little less Christmassy, more wintry in case you want to like do one yourself or gift one. Um, just like a really good brand to go to all around for your Christmas puzzles. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I'll leave my playlist. I I think I've been linking it up in the cards in case you missed other advent videos that I've done. Also, I'll have some links down below in case you're interested in these ones from them. So that's it for me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.